I want to have a million dollars in my bank. Even though they are HB owners, mm -hmm. essentially we are tenants to the main landlord, which is HDB. Yes. Now that you sold the MOP, mm -hmm. the flat, where can I move to next? Yeah, this is a common question, right? What's our next option? So we start from resale. I think that that's uh, usually where most people think. So whether the four room changing to five room or downgrading from five room to three room, that's one option that they can look at. So what are the usual pros and cons of resale market? For them, usually it's age of the property, condition of the unit itself, I feel that for resale units, you have to take into consideration the location as well uh, to ensure that you're making a good purchase. So in my opinion, if let's say people were to change from a, a HDB BTO flat, mm -hmm. they want to move towards resale flat. Mm -hmm. uh, usually like you mentioned, they want to upsize. Upsize, yes. <laughs> because, you know, children are growing up, mm -hmm. maybe they want each of their child to have their own room. Currently, right. they are staying in a, a three-room flat, only have two rooms, maybe mm. not enough. Four-room mm. flat, probably a little bit smaller because newer houses are built a little bit smaller. They want to go to a, a bigger unit. Next is probably location. Yes. They want to buy a resale HDB because of the location. They want it to be probably nearer to the transport node, mm. nearer to the workplace, mm. maybe in between their workplace and their, their parents' place, a primary caregiver place. Mm. And a lot of times, these needs can only be fulfilled by resale HDB flat. Vis a vis the, the price and the size, <laughs> right? It's the most value it's for It's always money. the thing that people have in mind. Dollar for square footage. And then they feel like, oh, for HDB is a very good value. But sometimes I feel that uh, you have to take into consideration the invisible cost of the HDB, such as uh, depreciation with age, the CPF accrued interest. Even the loan that you choose, there's a difference if you choose HDB loan or bank loan, right? The interest rate itself is already different. So all these invisible costs sometimes can be way more than what we expected when we pay for the per square foot. I think before we even talk further into what sort of things that you can choose, I want to go back into how to choose the, the next <laughs> home. I think the first and utmost is the purpose. Mm. What is the purpose what of this next goal? home? Right? Is it aspirational goals? Mm. Right? Maybe they want to go towards uh, somewhere where there's facilities. Mm. Right? Sometimes I talk to the sellers and the buyers, sellers and buyers, mm -hmm. is that you know, I, I aspire to be uh, living some sort of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's really practical reason. Yes. I just want to be within 1km of this school that I alumni with. I want to be just next block or upstairs, downstairs to my mother, sure. my parents. And what happens also. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right? So really it's the, it's the purpose that drives the, the purchase. And right. I think one other purpose, very there are also people who are very, very straightforward and say, I want to make some money through the real estate. And I understand that you no know, HDB is my first part of goal. And, and I like to highlight that like, many people don't forget that this money that you make from HDB, right, is not free. Like. The money that you make from HDB, right, actually comes from eight years of your life. You spend three years waiting for the construction, five years for the whole MOP to be over, then you make a hundred over K, right? If you don't do anything, right, if you come from a very uh, value perspective, you're not doing yourself a favor. You know, you're doing yourself a disfavor by just holding on to the, the MOP because the 100K over 10 years, right? And 100K over five years is already a huge percentage difference per annum. Yeah. So when you look at that point of view, right? Then people come and talk about, oh, I want to grow my wealth, right? Then there's different directions. So the easiest step forward will be easy. Why usually is easy is the easiest step forward. It will be because first of all, you can stay in your place until TOP. That's one of the strongest advantages that EC actually has. Then of course, with minimal cost, because the cost is actually lower, it's still the same MSR as uh, HDB. From there, you actually get another lump sum, then you move forward to private. That's the usual easy step. Then there's also those who are a little bit older in their age, then they want to look forward to private property. So what do you think of private property, EC? Uh, I think it's um, suitability. Mm. I think not everybody is suitable. Yes. Right, to go, go towards the condominium because mm -hmm. sometimes, yes, it's an aspirational one, mm -hmm. but um, can your finance take it? Yeah. Right, because uh, the last thing that you want is that you overstretch yourself and then you cannot take the money mortgage, right. money maintenance, right. property tax. Yes. Right, even though you can enjoy the swimming pool, the gymnasium, <laughs> the function room. Really, you have to sit down and look at your finances. If mm -hmm. today is not the time to go towards a, a private property straight, it's what okay. What is the next best thing? Yeah, what is the next stepping stone? Mm -hmm. Should you move now or not move now? 
right? Yes. Maybe talk to someone, mm -hmm. financial advisor, can talk to us agent. We have a, a little bit of, of that knowledge. We have helped so many people out there. Importantly, is not to overstretch yourself. Correct. But of, of course, if let's say everything is in line, is correct, is mm -hmm. okay, you're mm -hmm. not overstretching yourself, and you want to go for towards that aspiration once while your children are growing up to enjoy the facility correct. that there is in a condo, definitely, I think, go for it. Mm. And I, when you say that, right, I think um, Singaporeans tend to generally take caution too much. Take the air on the safe side a lot more. Sometimes when we think that, you know, we are able to afford, we are not able to afford, then I think consult someone, ask around first. Make sure that you really cannot. I have so many cases where they tell me, actually, I don't think I can. Uh. Eugene, I don't think I can. But when you look at numbers, you know, we go through, and they are actually able to not only afford, eh, they can hold the property for a year, two years, three years in the event that they're not really working. So it's because they are too worried that they, they want to have, like, I want to have a million dollars in my bank <laughs> before I buy a property. But that's not how it works, right? That's, I believe that you can use what we call leverage uh, or OPM, other people's money, to help uh, actually empower yourself to move forward and then from there be able to grow your wealth. So what Eugene uh, alluded to is uh, margin of safety. Yes. Right. Uh, how much reserve you have to, to tie through. Important. Talk about leverage, which is um, property is a, a huge advantage. Is the, mm. the leverage ability. You only have 20% but you can borrow the other 70 to 80%. That's right. Of course, depending on the, the assets that you're going for. I think all these are very important factors. And again, I come back to my point where I always say, you don't know what you don't Ask. know. Right? <laughs> you don't know what you don't know. And awareness is a very important Correct. thing, right? So if let's say you are not aware that you could do sort and sort and sort and sort, and you just think because your circle of friends. Yes, only all HDB. Oh, so only. I only can HDB. I cannot do anything. It's, right. it's, it's a very common uh, assumption. Because everybody is different. Correct. Right. I may be earning the same or living the same standard as you, yes. but probably I'm a high paying employee with CPM or I'm a self-employed. Just being self-employed and employee with CPM is vastly different, right? Yes. Right. There's so many different cases, for example. Maybe yeah. you are 10 years younger than me. Mm -hmm. I'm 10 years older. Then it's vastly different. Yes, correct. Right. Of course, many other tips and tricks that, that we have helped people that thought previously yes. it's impossible for them to stay in their dream home. Correct. And then they finally did. Right. And I earlier have, than they expected. Mm, right. And, I, and one, one classic example that I have is one of uh, my client, right? He thought that, you know, because of his income, he couldn't do it, upgrade to a bigger house because of his, of his number of kids. After I sat down with him, I went through his numbers, right? Actually, he could go up to a private property, 1.2 million private property, which he's now staying in. And uh, that is much comfortable for him because of the amount of space that he has. So it's not just the space, but the profit built on the property itself. So now he has the funds that he can anytime take out in the event of emergency without selling his property with something which HDB cannot All these are inbuilt advantage that only a private property owner or private uh, property uh, buyer can mm. have. Uh, because right. HDB, a lot of times, even though they are HDB owners, mm -hmm. essentially we are tenants to the, 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 the main landlord, which is HDB. Yes, correct. Yeah, so a lot of things we can't do. So I summarize, you can go resale HDB, mm -hmm. right? Be it bigger, change location. You can mm -hmm. go to EC, mm -hmm. be it a new or maybe Resale, resale EC, EC is yes. possible as well. Mm -hmm. Or you can straight up go for private property. Yes. Right. Uh, private property do include a new condo, mm -hmm. resale condo, even landed. I've yes. seen people that have sold their HDB and straight up just go towards the, the, the This landed. happened before. Right. And, and that's always the aspirational goal. Correct. Right? Because if you want the, the maximum amount of space, mm -hmm. then landed is the thing to go to. Because not all HDBs are built equal. <laughs> I think that's one thing. Not all HDBs are built equal. Yeah, not, HD, not all HDB sellers are built equal. Yes, correct. <laughs>